speed and now strategy going to play out. The 30 is going to try to stay out and not come to pit road. Here's what they had to say on the radio. You know how to do this. How big is the lead? I'll tell you when the second place car is at start finish line, it's a big lead. It's a real big lead here. I want you to slow down, Mike. I want you to get him in behind cars, okay? Get him in behind cars. We're going to slow way down. All right, let the six go here. And guys, real quickly to add from Pit Road, they were planning on bringing Nelson PK Jr. to Pit Road, the same lap that James Busher came down, but they only needed two seconds of fuel. So at the last second, Crew Chief Chris Carrier decided to make an audible. He said, I think we can win this thing. Remember what a heartbreak they had at Pocono at our last race. They had the dominant truck and did not win. Today, they're rolling the dice, and it's going to be awfully close on fuel. From the drive of the green flag, we knew that the 30 and the 18 were the class of the field and the 30 got shuffled back after battling for the lead hit the 18 got sideways and now they're playing the pit strategy gamble of staying out on the fuel he's trying to spin to win that dictated them coming to pit road getting gas losing a lot of track position heck there was no way he was going to be able to catch those guys so the pit crew carrier decides we're going to stay out and take a chance. Phil, this is an awful long run to the checkered flag for this truck. Certainly it's 43 laps and they only had two or three laps of caution. That's right on the edge of the window. He has six miles to go. Three laps of racing remain. He has six miles. Can he have enough fuel if he slows down as much as he has to be able to get to the finish line? See Jason White, he's still running faster than Jason White. Jason White's trying to do the same thing as well as Ryan Sieg in the 39, Kale Gale in the 33. Yeah, your whole top five is just rolling out of the gas and trying to coast their way home. Meanwhile, back in six, James Busher leads Ty Dillon and Parker Kligerman. They're running the fastest laps on the track, but there's no way they're gonna catch Nelson PK Jr. if he doesn't run out of fuel. Less than two laps remaining for the 30 of Nelson PK Jr. The top five right now all have pitted on lap 57 or 58. They're on the same strategy. Do not step on the gas in the corners. Roll through the corners. Yeah, he's, he needs to slow down more, Phil. He's got 14 seconds of a lead, and he just needs to make it two laps. I'd slow way down as long as i got enough gas to make it to the finish. And he... Well, he slowed down, that's for sure. And right now, he comes out of turn number four. This time by, he's going to see the white flag. One more time around Michigan International Speedway. Two miles. Does he have enough fuel? And we know he's not going to get a green-white checker because he's already taken the white flag. How about his dad's 60th birthday present? He's got a commemorative deck lid to... We are uh, not racing them. We are not racing them behind us. A, a, a commemorative paint job on the truck for his, for his dad, and he's trying to limp home to win this race. Nelson PK Jr. racing down the back stretch was looking for a win in the Camping World Truck Series. His first win in NASCAR came in the K&N Pro Series. Then he moved over and got a win in the Nationwide Series. Can he make it a trifecta in 2012? Come on, Coming out of checkers. turn number four, does he have enough fuel to come make to it checkers. in front of Jason White? Now. Coming to the checkered flag, you it's Nelson PK Jr. winning at Michigan. We finally did it. We finally did it. Congratulations, everybody. Thank you very much, Chris and Andrew, the whole crew, for keeping it along with us. Oh, my God, what a feeling. Thank you. Thank what you very much, everybody. Thank you, Mr. Turner. What about a lot of the last couple weeks? Joey Coulter just so grateful and so thankful to his family to drive to Victory Lane. And now Nelson PK, you could just hear the emotion and what it means to him to be the latest NASCAR Camping World Truck Series winner. He stretches it 43 laps, 86 miles on a tank of fuel. Let's hear from his crew.